And now we catch up with a local artist who creates a product that definitely is not essential. A year later, Justin Vining shares how he transformed during the pandemic and reveals how being a best you has positively impacted his business. I think early COVID, I was very antsy to finally start using this building that we worked so hard to build out. Now uh, I'm sort of settling in. After many delays, Justin Vining's new gallery along 10th Street is now open, but he is yet to host a big event there. My business has certainly had to, to pivot. The stay at home order canceled his studio opening last March, meaning no one to come see or buy all of the inventory he created in the months leading up to the big launch. It, it was scary. At the time, bearded, bewildered, and broken. All that work, all the risk, you know, for a moment, and um, I just lost it. To not be able to, to do everything you had worked so hard to do. Vining had just 24 hours to pivot and provide an alternative. I did not have a shop on my website at that point, and so I quickly learned how to build a shop and uh, put all my paintings on the internet and we hosted the opening virtually that day. He calls this the hills of Brown County. After that, Vining was featured in our artist showcase, spotlighting local talent separated from their customers last spring as festivals, fairs and first Fridays canceled. I really put a lot of energy and thought into the PR and marketing aspects of my business and to have a year where I did very little of that, it, it certainly did free me up to paint a lot more. I spent a lot less time in Microsoft Excel and a lot more time with a paintbrush in my hand. Vining paints Indiana city scenes and landscapes daily. I had a very productive year. I made more paintings in the last year than I've ever made. And now already I've sold more paintings this year than I ever have year to date to right now. Um, that blows my mind. His small canvases sell for about $100. The larger ones go up to 3000 And his once hyper-local following has expanded. This last show, we sold 96 paintings out of that show now, and I've shipped over 30 of them outside of our city. In a year of uncertainty, Vining adapted. His business grew. It's not what he planned for. It's better. I feel so lucky. I mean, I truly feel so lucky. Luck with a lot of hard work. We certainly do wish you the best. Now, Justin owns the building with his brother. His brother has a law office there. Eventually, Justin would like to teach painting and host workshops in that space when people are vaccinated and confident in public gatherings.